now. What's up guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to week 6 of the Pokemon Premier League. You're getting this game on time. It's amazing. Um, I've actually had time to have my game this week on time, which is fantastic. Um, don't be alarmed if I haven't uploaded all of the uh, outstanding games yet. They will be coming. Hopefully I'll have at least week 3 and maybe week 4 uh, uploaded over the weekend for you guys to catch up on. Um, so don't be alarmed if this comes out before week Six, but there might be spoiler. No, this is week six, before week five. There will be spoilers in the title, though, I guess, because you can do the maths on wins and losses and whatnot. Anyway, let's quickly look over the teams. You are playing Liam, uh, manager of West Chan United. Um, very spooky team. As you can see, he has Infernape and Kyra in black and uh, Magnezone. Now, we all know how Magneton screwed me over before, uh, so I was equally as scared for Magnezone, but I was a lot more prepared this time. So, as you can see, we have got Noiva and Mega Glade, Aromatis, Skarmory, Heliolisk, and Metagross. Um, a lot of them are forced to come because Kyrie in Black is a bitch. Um, we have Choice Specs, Hasty Natured, um, Noivern, uh, they're just to hit hard because once Whimsicott is gone, it can do a lot of damage to his team. Um, Sub Bulk Up, uh, Mega Glade, uh, the mixed defensive Aromati, especially defensive uh, Scarm Reaper is there as my main physical wall. Uh, Scarfed, Heliolisk in case he bought the Mega Aerodactyl, which I was really surprised he didn't bring and the agility life orb uh, metagross so two set up mons two just you know fast hard hitters for me this week uh, along with some uh, bulky mons now my game plan here was to try and get rocks up as soon as I could um, but looking at his team when he didn't have aero I wasn't too you know upset that he, I well I wasn't too uh, what is it uh, confident I needed rocks up and like urgently but considering he had um, Kyron Black there, I would have quite have liked Rocks Up as soon as possible. So um, that was an aim, and then I obviously wanted to scout out what was what. If he had Scarf and Fennec, that'd be quite scary. But obviously, Aromatis can deal with that quite well. If he has Gunk Shot, I can obviously play around that with uh, Skarmory as well. That was one thing I was scared of. Pretty scared, or pretty sure he was going to bring a Choice Scarf mixed uh, Kyron Black. So I was well prepped for that. The rest of his team, I was equally as scared. But I decided to leave Neuvern because he was either going to lead with something I would outspeed or, uh, you know, just do well against. Uh, Magnezone, I know if this was Scarfed, I would outspeed this thing. Uh, I guess Liam, I don't think Liam knew that at the time. Uh, I just wanted to play safe, which is fair enough. I decided to click U-turn because I know I'd outspeed. I would have probably gone into Heliolisk if he had stayed in because, you know, I don't think he'd have clicked Hidden Power Ground turn one. He switched out and he said he was going to click Volt Switch, I believe, is what he told me after the game. Um, but in comes uh, the Licky Licky, and anytime this Licky Licky comes in, it's a free chance for me to one Mega Evolve and to click Substitute. Because, like I said, I am the sub bulk up uh, set of Mega Gallade. Once I have bulk up up, I pretty much two shot his whole team. So, whatever he switches in, uh, pretty much dies at this point. So, we're behind the sub, but we forced the attack to break my sub. During this time, I will get to plus one with my bulk up, which is very nice. Um, so, I'm going to Mega Evolve. I am uh, max HP, heavily invested in my special defense and quite a bit of physical defense investment as well. Basically, it was enough to let me live a Psyshock from this thing, Dazzling Gleam or Shadow Ball from this thing, uh, School from Mega Blast, uh, from Normal Blast, though, sorry, um, and I think Survive uh, Body Slam uh, behind a sub. So um, that was the plan, however, I didn't even consider Foul Play, and uh, I think whatever set of Gallade I was, Foul Play would break a sub, so really good prep on Liam's part. Um, but I do click Knock Off here. Uh, he <laughs> He actually outspeeds me. I haven't got any speed investment. Uh, oh no, sorry, he doesn't outspeed me. That's me being stupid. Uh, I get my knockoff off here, and at plus one, I can see that he's done about 70%, so I'm happy that knockoff will kill. I've done the calc. Max defense, uh, Uxie should die from that range, and so it does. It was Assault Vest, so I don't know if I had full defensive investment or not. He sent me his team, but I can't remember. In comes Magnazone. This was a crucial play here. Link could have easily gone into Whimsicott, and he knows that. I knew I would live this. Uh, if he was spec side outspeed, uh, if he was max speed, and if he was Scarf, I had a 100% chance of living as long as he didn't crit me. I live on 4, he got a very high roll there, um, but I can drain punch this thing. I knew he wouldn't be sturdy because he needed Magnet Pool uh, to trap Skarmory. Now that thing's gone, he has a lot harder of a time taking down Skarmory. He has Infernape left that can deal with it efficiently. Fire and Black can kind of as well. Um, but I know Gallade can definitely heal up on the Lickitung, so I'm going to keep that thing around because it can also deal with Kyra and Black very well. Liam does make the save play on Moonblast. Now, turns out this uh, this thing is Sunny Day uh, with Hidden Power Fire. And uh, 
I didn't obviously know that at the time. I was very worried that, well, I was pretty much expecting he'd have him power fire, but he decides to switch into Infernape. I guess the fact he's lost two mons really early on means he has to make it like an aggressive sort of play now. I do set up my rocks, which means any sash on this thing will break uh, when he switches in. Chiron Black will be taking 25%. Licky Licky will be getting worn down constantly, and I can't remember what else he has left. Um, he does click Fire Blast. Uh, my safer switch in is Neuvern. This thing was a huge pain to prep for. Um, but I'm pretty sure Neuvern had a good matchup against this Infernape set in the end. Um, I am going to outspeed because I know he's Life Orb, so I can safely click Air Slash. Here he does. I knew he was going to go into his Licky Licky. Um, if I had Hurricane, this could have been a clean 2 hit KO, I believe. This is Max Special Defensive uh, Licky Licky as well. I am Choice Specs, Max Special Attack Timid. Um, I had to be timid to outspeed the Winter Cop, which I don't think they even speed crept, uh, but it didn't matter because he was chlorophyll, um, and I had sped crept for Scarf Magnezone, which I was uh, expecting. So, um, in comes the Whimsicott. Cop. He made a very aggressive play that I was going to stay in because I was pretty much either going to kill this thing uh, with a flinch or, you know, let him wish up. And if he wanted to wish, I had a free switch into my Gallade. Um, and he decides to switch in Whimsicott Cop, and I stay in and click Air Slash. That's fantastic. Whimsicott Cop is gone. Mega Gallade now has fun against the rest of his team pretty much. So the health I'm at, I'm pretty sure I can live a hit from anything. Uh, and obviously his whole team is weak to Drain Punch. Uh, well, Infernape isn't weak to Drain Punch, but Infernape isn't the strongest thing around. Very sure the way he brought this thing in, uh, he is uh, Scar. Uh, Scar. Um, obviously he didn't know I specs at that point, so I could have just easily switched up to Dragon Pulse to Draco and killed this thing. He does Ice Punch. Vinto is the most expendable, expendable thing on my team. I only bought it mainly in case he bought Mega Aerodactyl. Of course I missed Focus Blast, again, uh, you'll see uh, why I say again when I upload previous week's games, uh, but we die, that's fine because it now gives me a free switch into Metagross, now I know he's choiced, I'm pretty sure he'd have clicked Earth Power uh, if he wasn't choiced there, I should have clicked uh, Hyper Voice to be safe really, because uh, it would have done a lot of damage to many things from his team, but now he's, I know he's locked into Ice Beam, I have an extremely free switch in into uh, my Metagross, and I click Agility, and uh, Liam knew this, and couldn't prep for it, because um, apparently him and Rai had a game, and Rai pooped on with Metagross, but Metagross had such a fantastic matchup against uh, Liam's team, I couldn't really not bring it. Uh, I do go for the Meteor Mash here, and I am Life Warp, Jolly, Max Attack, and I get a crit. Now, I don't know if the crit actually matters, I haven't done the count, I'm sure the crit mattered in the fact it kills uh, in one shot, but I'm also thinking it all it did was really speed up the game. So in comes Infernape. Uh, don't know why he done this really. He should have gone into Chiron Black first. Um, at this point, I'm just going to break. I didn't need Zen Head, but uh, I did consider bringing... Uh, what was it? Something instead of Bullet Punch. It might have been Zen Headbutt actually. But then I realised, no, I don't need Zen Headbutt for anything. It doesn't hit him very hard. Uh, all I needed was Bullet Punch, Meteor Mash, and Earthquake. All he has left is this Chiron Black. I didn't get the attack boost earlier, which is a shame, because if I did, it would guarantee Bullet Punch is a KO. I knew he wouldn't have max speed investment, because he didn't need it. Um, and he'd probably have HP or defense investment, but he lives the Bullet Punch. I didn't want to click Meteor Mash, because I didn't want to miss. Um, me knowing that, you know, uh, if he locks himself into Earth Power, I die, that's fine, but I can either go into Skarmory or Neuvern and win the game. Um, if he wants to get himself into Ice Beam, I'll live. Um, I didn't want to click Meteor Mash and miss. I mean, I could have gone to Aromatisse and taken whatever he wanted to throw at me. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to play as safe as possible. He's locked into Earth Power. I go into Neuvern. Go for the... I could have clicked Flame Thrower there, but I wanted to go for the fancy Draco kill. With Neuvern, just, you know, because dropping Dracos is fine. I don't do it often enough. It's the first time I think I've run Draco on this thing. Or at least had a chance to click it, so, you know. Uh, that kills uh, Kyron Black, and that is the game. So, guys... After uh, spoilers, if you want to watch the other games first, I'll give you a chance to uh, close the video now. Okay, you've had your chance. That is the first win since week one. It is glorious to finally win again. Uh, it was a huge game, mainly because I needed to beat Liam because he was part of the potential relegation scrap, which I'm also involved in now um, because I've had such a poor run of form. But I've got the win. We've got some momentum going. Depending on results, uh, I think I'm the first game to be played this week or at least to be recorded on the spreadsheet. So, uh, if results go our way, we could actually climb out of the relegation zone completely and be in, you know, just sort of the, the average Joe area of the league. So, good game, Liam. Um, obviously, he was very sort of upset with the way he played. I can see why. There were, I mean, but it's a lot easier to say things in hindsight, you know, than uh, once you played the game. So, 
Good game, Liam. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I was really spooked by his team. Um, I'm really, really happy to bring Mega Aero because that thing could have run coverage just to destroy my team. Uh, the fact that, you know, I had Mega Aerodactyl, uh, Mega Gallade alone was going to be enough for him to bring Mega uh, Aerodactyl, but I guess he didn't have enough room to run it on his team, which is fair play. So, guys, if you did enjoy this uh, video, make sure you leave a like, uh, leave a comment on how you thought the battle went and how teams prepped. Um, and also make sure you go check out Liam, I mean the whole of D1's links are below, but make sure you check out Liam in particular because he's a great guy, a great friend, um, someone who I've got to know a lot better from just this league alone, you know, I've had some uh, good times with him now, so uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the EGX as well, so go send him some love, go subscribe to his channel, I'm sure you have already because, you know, he's a lot more successful than most of us here. Um, I've rambled on long enough, so I will see you all later. Bye!